With this novel coronavirus pandemic, we all are be advised to wash our hands frequently and if you are on the go, you are be advised to use hand sanitizer. So I also bought three different hand sanitizers. Okay? So the big bottle consists of 66% of the nature alcohol and this medium-sized bottle consists of 70% alcohol and this small bottle consists of 75% alcohol. So could you make a guess which of these hand sanitizer is the most expensive one? Hey students, I'm Teacher Tan. So today we are going to talk about concentrations expressions. A meal of solute dissolved in a quantity of solvent or solution. For example, if you have two solutions of equal volume, the concentrated solutions means that the particular solutions has higher amount of solute dissolved in it compared to dilute solution. There are a few ways to express solutions concentrations. In this video, I'm going to cover five ways to express solutions concentration. So the first way is molarity. So what is molarity? So molarity define solutions concentrations in terms of number of moles of solute per liter of solution. So this gives the formula for molarity which is moles of solute over the volume of solution. And based on the formula, we can see that the unit for molarity will be mole per liter. Or we can just write it as BM molar. In chemistry lab, due to safety purposes, we often see the solutions being labeled with their molarity. For example, the sodium hydroxide solution here is being labeled 6 mol per dm cube. So 6 mol per dm cube is the molarity of these solutions. So what does this 6 mol per dm cube mean? Before I explain further, you must know that 1 dm cube is equal to 1 liter. So 6 mol per dm cube is equal to 6 mol per liter. So based on molarity definition, basically it means that if there is 1 liter of solution, there will be 6 mol of solute sodium hydroxide in the solution. The second way to express solutions concentrations is molality. So molality is defined as mole of solute per kilogram of solvent. So this gives rise to the formula of molarity which is moles of solute divided by the mass of solvent in kg. So and the unit for molarity would be mole per kg or molar or just small m to represent molar. If given a sodium chloride solution with 0.15 molality, so what does it mean? Based on molality definition, it means in 1 kilogram of solvent, in this case most likely it will be water, 
0.15 moles of sodium chloride solute has been added in order to prepare this 0.15 molar sodium chloride solution. The third way to express solutions concentrations is mole fraction. Mole fraction is defined as mole fractions of a component of a solution. From this definition, it gives rise to the formula of mole fractions whereby mole fraction is equal to the moles of a component over the total moles of all components in the solution. I'm going to use the same examples as previous to explain about mole fractions. From the mole fractions formula, we can see that if we want to calculate mole fractions, all the components must be in number of moles. From the previous example, we already found the number of moles of our solute, sodium chloride, which is equal to 0.15 moles. For the solvent, it is 1 kilogram and we need to convert it to number of moles. How to convert it to number of moles? First, the 1 kilogram solvent water, we must convert to gram. So 1 kilogram is equivalent to 1000 gram of water. Then, only we convert to number of moles by dividing the 1000 gram of water with the molar mass of water. And this should give us the number of moles of water which is equal to 55.56 moles. Now we have the number of moles of all the components, then we can calculate the mole fractions. So if we want to calculate the mole fraction of solute sodium chloride in the solution, so basically we just need to divide the number of moles of the solute sodium chloride with the number of moles of total components in the solution. So the components in the solution so consists of the solute and also the solvent and this should give us 2.693 times 10 to the power of negative 3 so mole fractions is uniqueness because the moles in the denominators is cancelled out with the moles in the numerators the fourth way to express solutions concentrations is percentage by mass. Percentage by mass is defined as mass percentage of a component in a solution. Based on the definition, it gives rise to the formula of percentage by mass, whereby percentage by mass is equal to the mass of a component over the mass of solutions multiplied by 100. Just need to remember percent refer to 100. So if you are being given a HCl solution and stated there 36% HCl by mass, basically it means that in 100 gram of the solution, 36 gram of it is HCl solute. So the fifth way to express solutions concentration is using percentage by volume. So percentage by volume is defined as volume percentage of a component in a solution. This gives rise to the formula of percentage by volume, whereby percentage by volume is equal to the volume of a component over the volume of the solutions multiplied by 100. So again, percent means per 100. So if given a disinfectant with 70% ethanol by volume, basically it means that in 100 ml of a solution, 70 ml is the solute ethanol. Yes, this smaller size bottle is the most expensive one. Why? Imagine these three hand sanitizers are 100 ml solution. So for the biggest bottle, it consists of 66% alcohol, means that out of 100 ml solution, 66 ml is the alcohol. For this medium-sized bottle, it consists of 70% alcohol, so means that out of 100 ml, 70 ml will be alcohol. For the smaller size bottle, so out of 100 ml, 75 ml will be alcohol. Okay, so that, 75% denatured alcohol. So can you see that why this smaller size bottle is more expensive? Because it consists of higher amount of alcohol. 
the reading, you might want to refer to the Brown's book, page 582 to 584.